Percy struggled on past coastal villages and into the countryside. The river was rising fast. I wish I could see, I wish I could see, complained Percy, as he battled against the rain. More trouble lay ahead. Oh, hissed Percy, the water is sloshing by fire. Percy's driver and fireman had to find some more firewood. I'll have some of your floorboards, please, said the fireman to the guard. I only swept the floor this morning, grumbled the guard, but he still helped. Soon, Percy's fire was burning well. He felt warm and comfortable again. Then, he saw Harold. Oh, dear thought Percy. Harold's come to laugh at me. Something thudded onto Percy's boiler. Ow! exclaimed Percy. He needn't throw things. It's a parachute, laughed his driver. Harold's dropping hot drinks for us. Thank you, Harold, whistled Percy. Got to be of service, replied Harold. And he buzzed away. Water lapped Percy's wheels. Percy was losing steam again, but he plunged bravely on. I promised, he panted, I promised. He made one more big effort, and at last, exhausted but triumphant, he brought the train home. Well done, Percy, cheered Thomas. You kept your promise despite everything. A fat controller arrived in Harold. First he thanked the men, then Percy. Harold told me you were a, a wizard. He says he can beat you at some things, but not at being a submarine. I don't know what you two get up to sometimes, but I do know that you're a really useful engine. Oh, sir, whispered Percy happily. <laughs>